Hi, this is Lynn. Today, I am so excited to show you how to get started with Istio Ambient Service Mesh in five minutes. Let's get started. On my Kubernetes cluster, I have Istio Ambient Profile already installed. I also have famous booking for sleep and not sleep installed on my cluster. You can see ZTunnel is running on every single node in my cluster. If you look into the product page, it's running on the node of 7NCN, which is managed by this particular ZTunnel. So we're going to go to the node uh, that product page runs and enable TCP dump so we can capture the traffic sending traffic to the booking for application. You can see from the TCP dump, it is plain text. Are you ready to add your services to Ambient? All you need to do is just simply label the namespace. Now, everything in that namespace is part of Ambient. Let's visit booking for again. From the TCP dump, we are seeing encrypted traffic. This is mutual TLS encrypted traffic among all the microservices of booking for. Very cool. If you go to the Z tunnel, you'll see some access logs so that shows the traffic goes through Z tunnel for all the incoming and outgoing. Now let's take a look at the certs managed by the Z tunnel. You can see a um, product page along with reviews on there. Dive into the product page, X509 certs. Looks familiar, right? The X509 SAN is product page and it's only valid for 24 hours and it's issued by the Kubernetes cluster. This is pretty much same as the sidecar X509 certificate today in Istio. Let's apply an authorization policy to allow sleep and Istio ingress gateway to product page and nothing else. Now, if we call product page from not sleep, you'll see the package gets dropped and it's not getting a valid response. Are you ready for some layer seven functionality? All you need to do is to deploy the waypoint proxy for your services using Kubernetes Gateway API. It would automatically stand up the waypoint proxy for you. Let's apply some layer seven authorization policy to only allow get method to product page. Apply it same as how you apply authorization policy today. Now from sleep to product page with delete, you can see access is denied. Who is denying the access? It's a waypoint proxy. From the access log, you can see the 403 request when the delete comes in from the sleep identity. You can also get same layer seven metrics as today. So if you hit on the premises endpoint, you can see metrics such as Istio request total. Well, it records the 403 access denied. If you're not ready for Ambient, you can simply label your namespace to opt out of Ambient and delete any of the waypoint proxy using the Kubernetes gateway resources and along with any policies you deploy. You will also get back to seeing plain text traffic among your microservices the moment you opt out of Ambient. I hope you are as excited about Ambient Service Mesh as I am. Please follow a get started guide so that you can experience the simplification introduced by Ambient yourself and engage us in the Istio community for any questions you may have. Thank you so much for watching.